Hello, Wednesday 2012 here, and today I'm going to give you more of an update on the email situation. Now, there's a bit of a good news, bad news a set here, so I'm going to explain it here. Good news, I managed to find the um, Shaolin Showdown Season 3 in Catalan, which is a good thing, because someone decided to, um, there was like a, this email thing, the ED2K, and someone decided to... Um, Hmm, let's convert it to a J downloader file. If you don't know what a J downloader is, it's basically a disk file, this program where basically you download your. Th it's sort of like BitTorrent, although um, you can download from other you download from other sites basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the good news. The bad news is, unfortunately, since it's only the third season, it isn't the complete series. And because of this, I have to download all the rest of the series. Although on the good, although the, on the plus side, at least that's one less thing to get. Yeah, as you can see, Shaolin Showdown, or at least the Catalan title for it anyway. Season one. This one's. I said there was like only one place to get them, which was Dots Rooks. When there's also another one, which basically Mechanoscript Cat. That's basically another one. But um, unfortunately, this is also ED2K. And although not all of it's this, their things are ED2K, just stuff like this. And I am a user. I just I only pretty much logged on to get try and go and get these. But now I know that it's email. I guess I'm screwed. Apparently I'm online, and so is someone named Ryan. Good for them. <coughs> so I could share. I could like it, or I could share it. Yeah, that's not really important. I'm gonna try to download it. It says. This is a link, rapid share link, but rapid share isn't even online anymore. I think it's closed down, which would be really sh a shame because that way I could probably get them much, much quicker. Right, here we go. Transfers. Oh, I have a lot of files, don't I? All of, I have a bit too much many files. But yeah, point is um, that these are basically the files I decided to t try with earlier, but um, as you can see, it's not really working out. Yeah, I don't even know how to download them. Although I did figure out how to get this thing running. Let's see, you see, remember these TCP and UDP things? Well, I'll show you. Is this it? Yes. Well, so well, basically, you have to enter these in the NAT. I looked up a few tutorials there, and I think NAT basically explains a bit about them, about the email situation, sort of. Here you're port forwarding. Yeah, basically, I tried to do this. Actually, let's try something else. I tried applications first because I didn't know what that was. Basically, VSDL. Wait. They don't have. At all. As you can see, there they don't have. Email. In fact, I don't even know what Aircom knows what ear, email is. Or air, even. Because that's what they call now. Yeah, I decided that. And then I typed up a few email things EDU TCP and email UDP. As you can see, yeah, basically that. I edit, here's how I edited them. Just look at these, um, hang on. I'll just do a select all. Is that, does that even work? No, it doesn't. I'll just do a bit of this. I'll just highlight everything so you can easily see it. Okay, that's the that's the TCP. I said to active as well so that it will be certain to get it. And then here's the UDP. Oh, there we go. This is the UDP. I just entered random codes here because I don't even know if you need specific codes. So I just looked up a few. I looked up a few. Um, Tutorials about them, um, email and port forwarding. So I just assumed that you put them things there. But as you will see, test ports. When we open, and then it'll open up a new tab. It basically tells us that um, there are new ports coming. There we go.
I did set on I did turn on obfuscation. So yeah. This may take a while. While you're here, you might as well um, do some other stuff. Like, I don't know. Eat a, grab a snack. Uh, grab pop popcorn. Or something. Anyway, yeah, please welcome to Portal of Email. being tested. Have obfuscation enabled. Whatever the fripping hell that is. And, yeah, TCP connection test failed. UDB test will not be performed. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I entered all the correct... Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure I entered all the correct information on the EUTP on the aircom thing basically 86 86 14. I have it on the same IP I have it I have it typed down to the email TCP let's see online help that should help right I mean that's what helps are for let's see there, there's the VSDL the v, the both VSDL is it something like that I don't know but like let's, let's try with with this whatever this use U T U P N P to set ports whatever that is I don't know I have no friggin idea all I know is that it's not gonna work <coughs> so seriously though these kind of games. This kind of thing, trying to test for the ports, it's pretty much like a game of chance, seriously. A game of chance, where like, and a very unfair game of chance, is, I might add, because they're always going to be, because most of the time, if not pretty much nearly 99.9% .9 of the time, you'll get TCP test failed, and all the other times you'll probably get something else. So yeah. Okay, this is it testing. Failed. I don't get it. I don't understand. Why would this sort of thing fail? I have to check in the in the in other stuff. You have to check the. No, this is in German. Why? Yeah. Seriously, what is wrong with all of this? I don't get it. <sighs> or at least I know that to do port. Maybe I have to look at more tutorials on, on YouTube or something, because maybe that way I'll find something. Maybe something with my firewall as well. I, I have no friggin' idea. Seriously, I want to get these challenge showdown episodes so much and it isn't succeeding. 